So I was in the store the other day to grab some seaweed. I've been experimenting with dose from Manco Sea Vegetables and wanted to see if there were any other brands when I came across this Ocean's Halo. This brand was one of the best seaweeds I've eaten where you can eat it straight out the package. They have a variety of different types. This one was sea salt, which contained organic seaweed, organic sunflower oil, and sea salt. It was only 64 cents per package. It's USDA organic, made without preservatives or GMO ingredients, gluten, and MSG. This entire package is only 20 calories, having one gram of fat and is an excellent source of vitamin B12 and iodine. I also tasted wasabi from the same brand. It has a spicy flavoring from the wasabi seasoning and also had extra added ingredients while still being 20 calories. If you're looking for something simple, I'll go with the sea salt. Each package has about 120 sheets. This type of seaweed is called nori, which is the Japanese name for edible seaweed or sea vegetable. And that comes from the red algae species. It is usually dried, roasted, and used in Japanese cuisine as an ingredient to wrap rolls of sushi or add it into soups or seafood dishes for a salty flavor. Dried finished sheets are made by a shredding and rack drying process that resembles paper making. During the drying process, the color changes from purple to dark green. Nori grows at a rapid pace, taking about 45 days to harvest from the time of seeding. You can also buy larger sheets of nori that are raw and toast them yourself for a fresher taste and flavor. Another brand that I experimented with was Kirkland's Signature Organic Roasted Seaweed Snack, which was also a nori seaweed. It's a little higher in calories, containing 100 total calories, 20 calories per serving, which is one-fifth of the package that has 100 sheets. So 20 sheets have 20 calories, being one calorie per sheet. It has a unique sesame oil taste to it. The ingredients contain organic seaweed, organic sunflower oil, organic sesame oil, and sea salt. This seaweed is harvested in Korea. While reading, I noticed the warning label about cancer and reproductive harm on the bottom of the package. It had a website link to the California Proposition 65 also known as the Safe Drinking Water and Toxic Enforcement Act, enacted in 1986, intended to help Californians make informed decisions about protecting themselves from chemicals known to cause cancer, birth defects, or reproductive harm, and also prohibits businesses from discharging potential harmful chemicals in drinking water. There's a list of hundreds of potentially dangerous chemicals kept by the state and is annually updated. Kirkland is owned by Costco and I seen a comment on Costco's Facebook page about this from a customer that seen the California Prop 65 warning label stating that this product contains lead and asked why this product is being sold. Another person responded saying that if you eat a kilo a day, which is up to 60 packages, then you will get a small dose of lead. There wasn't any response from Costco. Proposition 65 not only affects businesses and customers in California, but the rest of the states and countries that want to import their products into California. They will have to follow strict rules and guidelines, and as of August 30, 2018, companies will have to list all ingredients in their products that exceed safe harbor levels that can cause potential harm to customers. Businesses that don't display warning labels can be sued or fined starting at the minimum of $65,000. For more info on California's Proposition 65, there will be links in the video description below. Back in March 11, 2011, there was an earthquake off the coast of Japan that caused a tsunami, eventually piercing through the tsunami seawall barrier and hitting the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, causing two hydrogen explosions and three out of the six nuclear reactors to melt down. Two of the reactors were contained, but one reactor's nuclear fuel melted through a steel containment vessel onto a concrete basement floor, where it was exposed to groundwater. As the groundwater passed through, it mixed in with the contaminated water, that is used to cool down the melted down cores. If the water isn't captured, contaminated water will leak into the ocean. 
The workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant did their best to contain it, but nuclear waste is still leaking into the ocean. So far, workers have captured and treated over a million tons of contaminated water that has been stored in containers on site. The container storage of up to 1.37 million tons will be full by the fall of 2022, and there's plans to release the treated water into the ocean. Most of the radionuclides have been neutralized except for tritium that isn't harmful to humans in small amounts. The dumping of the water is estimated to take 30 years to release it all into the ocean. Since humans haven't been able to access nuclear melted fuel because of high heat and radiation, robots are in the process of being designed to remove debris and nuclear melted fuel. It is predicted to take decades to remove all the melted fuel. This has impacted the local environment, ocean, and seafood because of the radiation. Seaweed naturally absorbs heavy metals and toxins. Haziki seaweed naturally has high amounts of arsenic, and this means seaweed can get contaminated by the Fukushima radiation. For more info about the Tokyo Electric Power Company and the decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, there will be links in the video description below. Even though Haziki seaweed has high amounts of inorganic arsenic in it, out of all the seaweeds I've eaten so far, I felt Haziki in my gut the most and it had positive effects in my digestive system on an empty stomach. Haziki is a brown algae seaweed and this brand is JFC International. This seaweed is imported from Korea. It isn't organic and also has the Proposition 65 warning label on it. This bag of seaweed cost about $6 to $12 and this entire package is only about 125 calories. Moving on to Dose. Dose is my second favorite seaweed. It is harvested in the North Atlantic off the coast of Maine and is a red algae seaweed. This brand of Dose is Maine Coast Sea Vegetables and has a similar texture to the land vegetable spinach. It wasn't that chewy and I didn't soak it. I mixed it in with the sandwich. It tasted good and blended in really well. Some people say that dose tastes like bacon when cooked, but I didn't cook this dose. This dose is harvested in some of the cleanest waters in the world and is tested for microbes, heavy metals, radioactivity, and other pollutants. But this brand also has the Prop 65 warning label on it too, even though it says it's organic. This bag of dose can be in the price range of $8 to $15. And this entire bag is only 128 calories. The next two types of seaweed come from the same company called Maine Seaweed, also known as the Seaweed Man. Their seaweed is also harvested off the North Atlantic coast of Maine. The first one is a brown algae seaweed called Alaria. I ate this seaweed without soaking it and the texture was chewy. Soaking the seaweed in water softens the texture, making it more edible. It also expands in size as it rehydrates. It has a salty sea flavor and goes well with soup dishes. This hilarious seaweed costs $40 for one pound. The next seaweed is Digitata Kelp. It is also a brown algae seaweed from the same company. It's bigger and has a thick texture. Soaking and cooking Digitata Kelp for 15 minutes softens its texture, similar to vegetables, and releases its nutrients, making for a nutritious soup. This Digitata Kelp is $30 for one pound. Both of these seaweeds, Alaria and Digitata Kelp from the Seaweed Man didn't have nutrient facts labels and aren't organic. When it comes to the health benefits of seaweed, it's a superfood because of its high nutrients and low calories. It has iodine, important for a healthy thyroid. It has vitamin B12 to balance energy levels. It has protein for building muscle. It removes heavy metals and radioactive isotopes from the body and has several more vitamins and minerals for a healthy body. I've already done an entire video going in depth on seaweed and you can check that out. There will be a link in the video description below. So which brands of seaweed are my favorite and I would recommend to eat. If you are new to eating seaweed, I'll go with the Ocean's Halo Nori Sea Salt Seaweed Snack. I ate several of these packages and they taste like thin chips from the sea. Maine Coast Sea Vegetables Dose is a great choice if you want to mix it in with salads, sandwiches, soups, and stir fries. If you want to step your game up and start creating recipes and cooking with seaweed, I'll go with Alaria and Digitata Kelp from the Seaweed Man. 
but the best seaweed is actually harvesting it yourself. In California, you can harvest 10 pounds of seaweed wet weight per day for personal use all year long without a license, which is a lot of seaweed. With the exception of sea palm that is prohibited to harvest for recreational use in California, but it's allowed with a commercial license. And sea plants illgrass and surf grass that cannot be harvested. So check the rules and regulations when harvesting seaweed in your local area. If you plan on harvesting seaweed, harvest in rural areas away from the city to avoid contaminated seaweed from pollutants. Definitely check out my video on seaweed. I go in depth on what to do and not to do when harvesting seaweed. This is Suwane from Planet Suwane signing out. <laughs> Are you sitting on the people? Oh no. Or are you just taking pictures of your displays? I was uh, doing a video about this. Oh. <laughs> YouTube.